Never have to use. Never trust a tourist advertisement. Never trust a tourist advertisement. At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Uh... Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. Now, reaching Oakmont was no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position and the flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. Reed. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. You said you know someone who can help me with my... problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, 
I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. Tell me about this flood. It began six months ago. Storms raged for several weeks. And the water has risen ever higher without receding. Now the city is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it, despite the inconvenience. Atmosphere, you know? That's enough. Thank you. I take... Well, I have a... How can I... Don't worry. I'll need a... Fair enough. Sounds... Don't judge a book by... Once the... Most locals... Uh, take this... The place... You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper... Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular. Its ways mist... I... So, Clark, really have much of a market for philosophy? There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. Well, no. Oh, before you... Don't worry about that. I don't care about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is fine. Uh, ahem. Uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well... Perhaps we can help each other. If I... Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. But he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. I've heard you're the man to speak to about... visions. Outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you. My son Albert is missing, and no one in this Innsmouth or ridden city will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth to the ground. But now... Those filthy migrants occupy half this damn city. The port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells, they are everywhere. So they're just refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. Please forgive the question, but I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud and powerful blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain royal family. 
but has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. Mr. Throgmore. What makes you think you can do it? Let's just... Vera. Sorry, did you just say... You had better get Vera. I see. I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Tame. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house. is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. Port is closed by order of Robert Throgmorton. Back off. book is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. <laughs> Let's see what you find, newcomer. I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. Never seen knives like this before. Masterful work. Seems like Prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. Seems like Prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much.
Nakrna, Nehri, Grena, Gib Hai, Nugulina, Hafton. Never seen knives like this before. Master for work. told them everything. It's okay. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh, okay. What do you want? I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside. On his business. Then he came back carrying Thogmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds and... Okay. My head began to burst and he woke up. And after that, I don't remember a thing, just... dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me... Uh. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fella Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so I started fishing. It was out of starve. Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. Kay be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. And I have no idea what Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. Do you know how Paul died? I don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already... gone. Kay, have mercy on his soul. Who is... Outside? Sorry, I, I didn't know. I'll leave... Please. I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone coming in or out. My head! I still hear those voices. Choo choo. Ahem. <clears throat> huh. Let's see what you find, new There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. Dog mat looks better than the owner's bed.
never trust a tourist advertisement. Never trust a tourist advertisement. Get out! Now get out! Never trust a tourist advertisement. I've said everything I know. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. And keep your hands where I can see them. It would take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Five cards short of a full house. I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. Seems like Prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. What's happening? 